And now for something highly anticipated, at least by me. <laughs> <laughs> Today we're going to talk about Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson and this uh, series has been on my bookshelf for a couple months and I just hadn't read it, hadn't read it. Finally I was like, you know what, I I need this book for, I need a book for Reading Rush. It happened to be the first one I touched for that prompt and uh, so I, I read it and I'm very glad I did. It is the story of uh, this of a girl I can't remember her name. It's kind of a male name too. So it might be like Stevie or something. And she applies to go to the school where kids are special for reasons why you might not really know. Um, there are a lot of characters in this book whose specialness I don't really know. Some of them like are specialized in science and some of them are specialized in like crafting or art or whatever. But her specialty is uh, detective work and her main goal is to go to the school and find out why the owner's wife and child have disappeared or kidnapped who did it um, the wife was dead like found dead but the child has not been found and so at this point the child would probably be in their 20s or 30s it's been like at least 20 years since all of this happened maybe more I can't remember off the top of my head but it is told between the past and the present and while she's in this uh school like trying to start her investigation one of her classmates is found dead so she now has to figure out that part of the mystery and as well figure out the greater mystery which is what happened to uh this family and it, it is just it was a really good community representation of school life and yet also like a mystery thriller young adult very very fun mm -hmm. sounds kind of like a veronica mars but like with a more specialized school right yes exactly that's pretty much what it is it's very like also harry potter-esque in that they all they aren't like sorted but they're all like living in different houses on the grounds of this estate and I think it's like five or six kids per house. So there's really that community element where this is your house, this is your community of people that you stick around with basically. So there is that as well. A couple things I liked about this book was really, like I said, the camaraderie, but also just the way it's written, like the way it gives you little clues to things. There is something that happens at the end of this book that I didn't totally see coming and I probably should have. I probably put a, should have put some pieces together but I didn't, and so when I when I read it, I was like, oh, well, that's gonna take this in a whole new direction for book two, which I'm reading this month. So, I mean, I'm, I'm excited for it. I, I did give it five stars. I thought it was one of like- And I'm uh, excited to read it. Yeah. Because I'm gonna be reading it this month. He is. So, definitely pick it up if you like young adults and you like mysteries. I think you'll probably like this. Uh, but until next time, we will talk again, and see ya. Stay tuned. <laughs>